Goedemiddag iedereen, welkom to onze vlog. <laughs> Guys, we are in the Netherlands. We're going tomorrow, literally tomorrow. Like, this is cutting it fine. Yeah, we're cutting it fine. We're cutting it fine. We've not packed, well, I've actually pre-packed. Theodore hasn't packed. Are you excited for this trip, babe? You seem quite pumped. Yeah, I'm pumped, guys, I'm pumped. <laughs> but I am a little bit chilly. Yeah, so before we even start this whole packing winter malarkey... We need to get warm, babe. Right. Three, two, one. Ah! Woof! Alright! Uh, Where are okay, we? Okay guys, how you doing? Alright! Okay guys, if you're going to the snow, you need to be warm at all times. Yeah! How cool are these one pieces? Uh, can Woo! we check out the back? Babe, explain what these are for. They are epic. I think I'm going to live in this the whole time we are away. So if you need to go to the toilet, not a problem. Get my tushi out! Woo! <laughs> how epic is that? So they're the alpine ones, right? So epic. Where are your And they've got loads of patches and basically loads of different patches that you can put on to like the sleeve. So for instance, we've got Aspen. We're not going to Aspen, but... One on your back. Boom. Aspen is on. Look at that back though, how cool. One here. And then you can swap them every time you go somewhere. We are going tomorrow to Trentino, Italy. We're going on a winter wonderland trip to the Italian Dolomites and we could not be more excited. But it's gonna be epic. Packing for winter is tricky, but we got you covered. We're gonna give you some sort of like a guide and also the kind of mistakes that you could do when packing in general because this one is terrible at it. No, I, now, on I now have to do a regulatory check to make sure that she doesn't take stuff that she doesn't need. Yeah, but outfit wise, you want me on your team because a lot of people have asked me like, well, how do you have so many like outfits all the time in your YouTube videos? It's true. And I've got hacks for you, so stay tuned. All about layers. No matter where you're going, whether you're outdoors, whether you're going into town or whether you're going skiing, the thermals are coming out. I've just got some extra thermals. I'm wearing a set here. Um, from Snow Queen and you can actually have a lot of fun with them so I could put trousers over the top go in the snow for a hike go into the mountains for the hike but if you're getting sweaty and you take off your big coat you're actually looking pretty cute I even got a matching hairband I mean we can have fun with these guys so I'm loving these seriously though if you're looking for cute thermals this is the place to go like check out all this glitz and glam how cute is that Snow Queen all made in England. This is made with silk. All of these are made with silk, hence why they're so lightweight and warm. The top tip is, guys, reversible coats. Honestly, it's genius. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of the winter stuff is heavy. Jumpers, shoes, jackets, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. So we always take a reversible coat. So here I've got a Tommy Hilfiger jacket. On this side is the cool print. And then on the other side, it's just a blue jacket. So you even got different fabric on the inside. Yeah, it's epic. Super warm. Basically got two jackets in one. Love it. Boom! Five! Bum five! Bum five? <laughs> that okay, let's stop that. <laughs> okay, on this trip guys, it's gonna be pretty heavy one because I'm taking my own ski jacket. This ski jacket has got a life of its own. It is a decade old. It has a history that you would not believe. It's actually from Nike. I actually, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I found it in a secondhand shop. Fell in love with it. It's a beast and it's super heavy. So my tip is basically to wear, obviously, your heaviest stuff on the plane. On this trip, I think I'm gonna be wearing this. Possibly my Tommy uh, jacket underneath. Probably wear my onesie, and because these are a bit baggy, probably get a pair of jeans under there. So I think we're gonna be okay for weight. Theodora, on the other hand, is always overweight, so I always have to give her extra of my weight. But yeah, always wear your heaviest stuff on the plane. Okay, top tip, guys, to keep you warm. By the way, every single tip is a top tip with us. <laughs> yeah, it's all top tips, all top tips. Um, to keep you warm, basically yeah. you need to keep this area warm. If you're wearing something like this and there's giraffe coming in, you're going to be cold. So we always go and yeah, you can wear scarves, but when you're in the snow, boom, it's like a round neck scarf. You know what it is. But sorry, can I just cut you off there? Cut me off. More importantly, guys, 
you want different outfits but you can't take all the luggage this is your answer you can change up a look so quickly watch this might as well be wearing a different outfit totally might as different. well totally this different. is how it works on the gram graham demonstrate what three two one oh. put it on boom, boom. and we look and now that i'm slightly older I understand my mother because she always needs to say, oh, I've got a chill around the neck. I totally feel you on it, mum. I feel you on it. I'm always putting a scarf on now. Yes, I'm getting old. So guys, the magic of packing is having the right suitcase. So when we start, first started YouTube, for the, in the first six months, we went through literally three suitcases. Nice suitcase, babe. Okay. What was that happening there, babe? I think I might need a new suitcase. It's our third suitcase between us. We do get asked quite a lot of time what bags we use. So this is from Victor and Knox. Few little bits that we love. First of all, the handle is super strong. That is not breaking anytime soon. This is not a sponsored post. We just bought these bags in, I believe, Chennai in India. It's just an epic bag. The wheels, we've been down bumpy roads. You can see some scuffs and stuff. They are not coming off. They are super sturdy. There's a massive rod that goes through that. That is no way breaking. Little cool feature in the back. Here, you can put wet clothing. You can put dirty shoes. This you can just wipe out, which I actually haven't done yet. Epic, and you've got two sides of it, so you can put all your dirty laundry in there as well. And then, obviously, you've got the two wheels, so it rolls really easy. And that's what we like about it. With four wheels, it can get a little bit crazy. And what's super easy, because it's kind of like long, long and thin, you've got two front handles which you can just pick up like this. You can pick it up from the side and you can pick it up to the front. So loads and loads of handles. So this is our bag, guys. Nice and long and thin. And it's really quite high, so you'd be surprised how much you can stack this. And we always use packing cubes. Babe, your turn. So literally, I actually don't mind traveling just living out of suitcase anymore because of my packing cubes. These are the packing cubes. I'll link a link below because honestly, these are super affordable from Amazon. You'll thank me later. So this is what a packing cube is. This is an example of one already pre-packed for our trip and you get all sorts of other packages with it. Now, for example here, I've written underwear and it's literally like a drawer for me. My underwear, my headbands, bikinis, trousers, tops, you get it. Nothing is going anywhere, everything is secure, and I can stack my um, coffer, I was gonna say, but it's suitcase in English, my suitcase accordingly, and just pull out what I need. I love it, my entire life changed as soon as I got a pack of these, they're so good. So a quick rundown of what I'm taking. Obviously I've got my two pairs of jeans, one of which is over there I'm gonna wear for the airport. So I've got two jumpers, I've got a hoodie, I've got three turtlenecks and another little thin jumper. I've got a workout jacket, two shirts, a couple of t-shirts for underneath the jumpers. Obviously you've got socks, I've got my boxers, I've got under armour for when I go snowboarding and a couple of thermal tops that I've got, not as pretty as Theodora's admittedly. And I've got my hats, my scarves, my ski bottoms, my gloves and I've got my ski goggles which are insanely awesome. I might give you a sneak peek here but you might have to watch the next vlog to check them out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pack this stuff up. Okay, another top tip is to have footwear that is really warm. Now you might be like, oh yeah, footwear is warm. No, not all footwear is warm. So for example, the Vans I always wear, like most of, most of the time when I'm traveling, they are not warm right now in the Netherlands. My feet are cold. So for instance, I've got a pair of boots. They've got wool inside. That is super warm. Also, I've got man Uggs. Yes, I'm an Ugg wearer. I love them. These can turn down like this. And then with the onesie, it's gonna look epic and so super warm. Always make sure that you've got warm feet, guys, especially when you go to bed, because it makes you sleep better. Now that was a tight fit. Moment of truth, zero, zero, zero. We've got 20K for the oh, luggage. 
four, babe. Yeah, 20.5. Okay, it's my turn to pack. And even though I know we're doing a guide on how to pack, I must admit, it's literally like late at night before the night we're gonna leave. And Graham is kind of right with the pre-packing. I left it too late. I am still stressed about the weight. I'm not sure I'm gonna fit all this in, but I have got a tip, top tip of course, about getting as many outfits in as little space and weight. And that is winter dresses. So I am taking winter dresses which you can wear like a long thermal underneath or tight or leggings and you're nice and cozy, but it's only one item. It is light. You can wear it with your snow boots and you look cute. And if you have to go shopping for your winter trip, you only have to buy one item, not jumper and bottoms. No, just a jumper dress. Boom, you're good to go. Final top tip, roll your clothes into your packing cubes you'll fit loads of it in. Guys, the jumpers, you can't roll them. Look at the size of them. So I'm bringing in expert help. Graham, help. I'm in. Don't ask how. Don't ask what I'm wearing to the airport, still haven't figured it all out, but we're good to go. Tomorrow morning, we're off to Trentino, Italy, the snow paradise of Europe, and we're gonna go and check it out. We're gonna do so many amazing activities. We're going with 28 other influencers. Can you imagine how much fun? Just a couple of things to really make you hit that subscribe button and check in in the next video. We're going to be discoing in an iglo. We're going to be paragliding. We're going to be, okay, I'm gonna not day out anymore. Just check in next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a couple of tips. Let us know if you have any tips that we should learn. Thanks for watching. See you. Ciao. Bye. What the heck was that, babe? <laughs> so do you want to teach me a dance? Okay. How do you want to start? How I want to start like this. Okay. Put your right hand on top. Right hand on top. Yeah. Let's do okay. it. Okay, we're gonna go. So watch me first. Head down. Yeah. Then we're gonna go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Four. Three. Four. Other side. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. four. Then we're gonna go. One, two, three, four. And boom, 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 boom. Oh, and then we can get our... Oh, then we turn around. And get our bums out. Get our bums Woo! out. <laughs> so this, if you need Devil. to go... Oh, you're not wearing anything. No. Okay, I, I've got boxes on.